This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The 2008 Ford Taurus is a clear example of what happens when a major corporation makes a big mistake. When an identical vehicle was launched in 2006, it was branded the 500 and lauded as the new definition of the family car. It arrived at the same time Ford decided to end production of the mid-sized Taurus, which had been a sales leader for several years. While the 500 was less than a spectacular hit, and the Taurus was sorely missed, now enter new Ford chairman Alan Mulally, who recognized the basic of marketing. The brand recognition is phenomenal with the Taurus. If you talk to all the customers today, 80% of them know the Taurus name. And even after all the work we've done to build up the brand for the 500, only 40% knew that. Okay, so the Taurus name has been restored. But the company also made a change inside the car as well, with a bigger 3.5 liter V6 engine. Replacing a 3 liter plant that struggled at times. The interior, which can be surprisingly upscale, offers command seating for the driver and more than enough room for an adult to ride comfortably in the back seat. Even with the capacity to handle a lot of luggage and five full-size adults, the Taurus, while larger than its predecessor, is nowhere near the size of the Crown Victoria or Lincoln, which makes handling a lot easier. If a buyer wants to go for the gusto, an integrated navigation and entertainment system is available as an option. While the old Taurus was sort of stuck with a front-wheel drive transaxle, the new version also offers an all-wheel drive platform like many other Ford products. The end game for all of this is a very simple proposition for Ford. That is... Uh, selling cars that uh, people really do want and really do value. This is Greg Morrison.